In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated route combinations in this game, a combination that you can utilize to pretty much beat every single defense, including 30-yard cloud flats, meta maple coverages, and all of that stuff. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you take your Madden game to the next level. And also, guys, if you want to learn my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, I'm going to encourage you to join that Patreon. The Patreon is where I release all of my exclusive ebooks and exclusive tips from my patreon members so if you want to get access to the full utrips ebook you get unlimited access to every ebook for just ten dollars a month by joining the patreon and the cool part about it is you can cancel whenever you want and i already have 11 ebooks i have four offensive guides and seven defensive guides already waiting over there for you to get into so if you want to get access to that again there is a link in the description below and you can click that link it'll take you right over and you can get signed up for just 10 bucks a month now, the play that we're going to be talking about in this video is the play Curl Flat. And the reason I like this play so much is for the post route to the slot receiver. The post route to the slot receiver is going to be probably one of the most effective routes in this game. And I'm going to show you exactly why it's so good. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to come out in a standard uh, cover four uh, style defense. And we are going to put some cloud flats on the field, put deep coverage out there. And all we're going to do is streak the square receiver. And what you're going to see here is just that one simple hot route is going to make this R1 receiver get over the top for about a 50-yard uh, a dot. It's at least a 45-yard post. If you're on the short side of the field, if, the, if for example, we were flipped, this would probably turn into a 40 uh, or a 50-yard dot. So as you can see here, and I'll show it one more time here, um, but you're going to see that this is just really, really good against zone coverage. It's really not a zone in this game that is going to be able to hang with this post when it crosses the field. So as you see right here, crosses the field. And again, we're on the 20 yard line. We threw it to about the opposite 30. That's about a 50 yard dot right over the middle of the field. Now it was cover uh, four. I'm gonna show you how this works against the Mike Blitz three uh, meta Mabel coverage that a lot of you guys like to run. Um, uh, pretty much one of the most popular defenses in the game. Uh, and I think it's one of the better defenses in the game. But what you're gonna see here is this crosser, even if they put their clouds at 30 yards, he's not going to be able to guard this. Right here, we got a little bit of a bump and that kind of messed up the route. So let me show you that one more time. Um, but you're gonna see, like I said, that this route gets over the top of 30 yard cloud flat. So there's not a zone drop in this game that an opponent can run that is going to put them in any kind of position where they can stop this. And that's one of the things that I think is really unique about this, uh, about this play. So again, here, we're just gonna wait on it, pass lead that to the left. And as you can see, again, that's to the 35 yard line. The, only, the 30 yard cloud is only gonna drop to about the 50 yard line in this example. And so this is going to get way over the top of a 30 yard cloud flat, whether it be from cover three, cover four, or what I'm about to show you, which is cover two. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just run some cover two real quick. Uh, and I'm going to show you kind of how this looks against that. Um, and what you're going to see is pretty much the same thing. So like I said, this post, see how he runs deep, but then he sucks down, pass like that left. And as you can see, again, another 45 yard crossing route. Uh, to this guy. This is what makes U-Trip so good because you can do it from either side. For example, I could go to something like the play Y option wheel and now I have a 50 yard post route on or a 45 yard post to Chris Godwin. And then I can go to curl flat and now I have it from the slot receiver. To me, this makes this offense really, really difficult to stop. It beats cover two uh, or it beats uh, cover two, cover three, cover four, which we've already showed. It also beats man coverage on the cut. So you can throw it inside right there. If you have a route running ability, let's say you have like a slot o matic or a route tech, um, this is gonna do really good. Um, it still should beat man for the most part, um, but it definitely kills it if you have that route running ability. But as you can see right here, that's how my receiver just didn't react to the ball. But you see that it's gonna be able to absolutely kill man coverage. And then if you're really worried about man coverage, you can obviously put your running back on an out route or something like that to be able to easily manipulate man coverage. But as you can see here, just hard pass lead that to the left. And for whatever reason, Scotty Miller can't catch the ball. Uh, but this is a really, really, really good little route. And again, you could kind of build around it. So you could go with like a, a quick out to the tight end, a quick out to the running back, and that's gonna give you two hot reads. And then you got a curl flat concept on that left side. And then as you can see right here, uh, Scotty Miller over the middle on that, on that post route. So the beauty of this play is there's a lot that you could do with it, uh, but you kind of want to build around this post route. You know, you could do something 
Another little thing that you could do, especially if you have high round master, is you can put this guy on a deep post. So you have a deep post and a, and a, and a short post, basically. Uh, and then you have like a hitch flat combo. The reason I would like something like this is let's say they're in cover four. Uh, a lot of times this, this route will still get open because the post will come over the top and kind of pull those vertical zones back. So, you know, the bottom line, guys, is there's so much that you could do with this play. I really do enjoy running this play. And if you want to learn the rest of my U-Trips offense, be sure to join the Patreon. The Patreon is just $10 a month. You get unlimited access to everything. Right now we've got a Trips tight in, a bunch, bunch tight in, and U-Trips, four of our offensive guides over there for you. And then we've also got a ton of defensive guides. We've got the 335 wide. We've got the uh, nickel 335 will, which I think is one of the most underrated defense of the game. It's the defense I'm personally running right now. We've got the 245 odd, the 335 odd. Uh, we've got uh, we've got work on a couple of other ones now as well, but I think we've got seven defenses in total over there. So make sure to go over to the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. You can head over there and join that for just ten bucks a month, and you cancel whenever you like. And make sure to check out those ebooks. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for your help, and we'll see you guys next time.